morning. It's Amy, one of the clergy here at St. Francis Episcopal Parish. I'm coming to you today from the labyrinth at the Bishop Claggett Center uh, in Buckystown, Maryland, where I have been blessed to have two days of retreat, socially distanced, wearing masks, hand washing, uh, retreat. If you have ever been up to the Bishop Claggett Center, you likely know what a beautiful spot in Maryland it is, and you likely have very fond memories of community here, of perhaps crucios, summer camps, retreats of your own, even diocesan meetings, vestry retreats, all made somehow more idyllic by these gorgeous surroundings. It struck me as I was reading our chapter in John today in our Summer Bible Challenge where Jesus is praying, this is eternal life, to know the one true God and to know Jesus Christ whom he sent. That uh, availability of eternal life in the here and now, it's available in the here and now to you and to me through our relationship with God and with Jesus Christ. And it's sort of easy in a way to be in a setting like this and to experience each moment as a gateway, as an entry way into eternal life in the here and now with God and with God's Son, uh, our brother, Jesus Christ, with the power of the Holy Spirit. But if you're anything like me, the sort of bliss of the experience of eternal life on a retreat can quickly dissipate in the car, heading back to the daily grind. And if you're anything like me, that daily grind, even in a pandemic, is about to start up again. Schools, in a strange way, are nonetheless going to start again. Work, nonetheless, will start again. Laundry is still there, waiting for me. The challenge always is, how do we keep this in our heart and our spirit and keep ourselves open to knowing God in the here and now. If you've participated in our summer Bible uh, reading, you have experienced the arc of uh, thousands and thousands and thousands of years of the one true God making covenant with God's people and reaching out to us, inviting us again and again and again to return to God, to be in relationship with God, to live in such a way that we are fully free, fully free. So I invite you this day and in the days to come to set aside some moment or moments even if it's 30 seconds where you can still yourself and open your heart and open your mind and open your self and with all your strength invite the one true God into your life so that you may know eternal life in the here and now. Amen.